I'm leaving now. Lucy, my sweet. I cleaned out the tiger cage and sorted all the meal bins. So, if it's all right, it's my turn to fix dinner. D uh, haven't you forgotten something, little one? Just one little thing. Mr. Renser, please. It's been a very long day. I don't want to. Now, Lucy, I thought we'd settled this last week. Don't let's forget who pays your salary. We're closed. Come back tomorrow. Wait, I haven't finished with you. I told you, we're closed. We're not here to buy, little man. We've come to sell. You can't possibly have anything to interest me. These are extremely rare animals of the highest quality. What a coincidence. So am I. That is the price for humility. Oh, please, don't. And what else might we interest you in today, sir? Perhaps some virtue? Uh, not my animals, please. I'm begging you. But what of honor, little man? At what price? Honor. Oh, my God, no! That tiger is the rarest specimen ever seen! Tiger, tiger, burning bright. The forest of the night. BR 61661, report to precinct headquarters. Code 3, repeat code 3. I was just finishing up my 12 out on patrol when I got the call. Welcome relief, considering that the most action I'd seen all night was a schizoid grandmother doing the shimmy in her underwear in the second sector. Last time I had a three was when some hooker vomited Thunderbird on Bryant's desk, and yours truly led the cleanup crew. Year and a half on the job, it was still the dirtiest work I'd seen. Where's Captain Bryant? Took a sick day. Got himself a heinous case of tomaine poisoning. He asked me personally to run the unit in his absence. Guzo was one of the old time guys who took their knocks in the streets. He had a friendly way about him but you didn't want to turn your back on him if you were less than a friend. Hope you've been enjoying your leisure time, kid, because it's time to take that thumb out of your ass. Hallelujah. Don't get too excited. The other Blade Runners are all jammed up. Holden sucking dinner through a straw. Gaff's working the Tyrell break-in, and Steele's working special undercover. Looks like you got this one by default. You really know how to make a girl feel wanted. Animal murder done at Runciter Zoological. Probably just be a schizoid glitz, but we got the call. Old man Runciter lost something like a billion chinions worth. Ten to one, this ain't a job for Rep Detect. You got something better to do? Perfect your French cooking, maybe? Slumming tonight, Slim? I thought you were on special assignment. Wasn't too damn special after I had the suckers out. What happened? A couple of fours were masquerading as fibroplast insulators down at Kaiser. I dressed up like a nurse, they never had a chance. I'll bet. You put them on the machine? Hell no. There's a beautiful little thing in here called the magic, and it ain't ever been wrong. You develop it, you got a brilliant career ahead of you. I'm working on it. What Scooza got you doing tonight? A.M. at Runsitters. Animal murder. Oh, those skin jobs got no respect for anything that truly lives and breathes. And that goddamn Eldon Tyrell ought to be zipped into a body bag and flushed into deep space. Get rid of him, we'd be out of a job. <laughs> I think we're all overdue for a little off-world paid vacation. You can stop staring at my ass now. You got eyes in the back of your head? All you gotta do is ask, Slim. <laughs> Animal sales was a profitable and prestigious business since most real animals had died out after the Terran War. There were plenty of electric ones, though, powered by rechargeable batteries. No self-respecting human would own one of those frauds. Yeah. 
What do you know? About 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. The shop's been thrashed. You ought to see this tiger cup they got in there. It's a goddamn tragedy. How's old man Runciter holding up? State of shock. He's been moaning and complaining about his world caving in. You'd feel the same way if they were your animals. How many perps? At least two. Bloody footprints all over the scene. Must be a delightful sight. Canvas the area. Maybe somebody had his eyes open. I'm on it. I already checked for a crowbar or some kind of tool. No luck, but it looks like we've got some latents. Make sure the lab boys run them through the mainframe, human and rep. Find something? Piece of chrome. From a car? No, I think it's horse chrome. Bag it and tag it. Scratches and paint flecks, and I knew what they meant. Unless the city had bought a jet black fire truck, somebody had a big fat traffic ticket coming. Nothing even remotely interesting, but hell, if I was going to root through trash, my expectations weren't too high. I've gotten all I can from that. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even. Quite a pair. Security camera. It'd be a banner day if it recorded anything before it was shot out. McCoy, LPD. I'm absolutely certain Lucy Devlin was involved in this heinous act. She's the young girl who works for me. She's responsible for all this mayhem? No, of course not. It was two men acting in concert with her, obviously. Obviously? What'd they look like? Big and scary and absolutely malevolent. All my animals. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot in... You got any discs from that camera? It's irrelevant. Those murderers also destroyed the camera. Thousands of chinyens worth. Maybe it photographed them before they shot it out. Mm, I guess you've got a point, that. I believe this is the disc from last night. Peachy. I'm ruined, totally ruined. Can you think of anything they might have been after? First I thought they wanted money, but I don't keep any in the shop. Then I thought they wanted to steal my animals, but they started executing them. Could they have been replicants? Who else would be capable of such barbaric acts? All my animals. You ever do any business with the replicant manufacturers, Tyrell Corporation? I resent that accusation. Just wondering. Officer, last May I personally sold Governor Kolvig an exquisite Perseron cult. I have been a guest at his house on three separate occasions. Do I look like I need to carry artificial product?
Tell me about this Lucy. There's not a lot I can tell you. She's only worked for me for about a month. She's about 14 years old, with pink hair. A very attractive young thing. How'd you find her? She came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the Northwest Zone. And he's a very reputable wholesaler. You treat her well? As well as any young tot should be treated. She got a desk? Or someplace where she worked? She used to eat over there. A candy bar. Yuck. Hmm. A toy dog. Howie Lee's in Chinatown. I'd eaten there myself. Well, isn't that cute? See if you can dig up that reference from Ogilvy's. Yes, it's somewhere here. Just a moment. Here you are. Stick around. I may not be finished with you. It didn't add up. Animal murders, the lack of any theft, the small animals alone were worth a good chunk of change on the street. It seemed more like an act of vengeance. Find anything else out here? Zilcho. Row actions inside. Abstract art. All over the walls and ceiling. I never did appreciate art. Real sushi was a luxury reserved only for the elite, since most sea life had become radioactive after the Third Terran War. The rest of us had to eat new sushi, soya mixed with off-world lichen. McCoy, LPD. I want to ask you a couple of questions. Sorry, my man. I just don't got the time. Got to mix more out back. Beautiful night, isn't it? When business thriving, night always beautiful. Howie says you're a master chef. You not come back here! Air bad. This will only take a minute. I'm looking for a girl, about 14 years old with pink hair. You seen her? I don't know her. Stick around. I might want to talk to you later. About 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. Stick around. I might want to talk to you later.
this from your place, isn't it? Could be. Chopstick come from Yoshi's restaurant supply. How long has that chef worked for you? Zubin? Just month. Superior chef makes all kinds of new suits. What's real fresh tonight? Special shipment of Toro just arrived. I fix you right up, no one else. Clean as a whistle. You're Prince, Howie. See you later, Howie. You're a pretty smart looking cat. You wanna make some money? Pay me large, you got my rapt attention. Depends on how much the information's worth. Unfortunately, my man, I got a bug. Dynamite dining, old man. Catch you later. Excuse me, pal. See you later, Howie. Excuse me, pal. McCoy, LPD. Ground floor, mainframe and shooting laboratory. Got anything new for me, Dino? I was wondering when you'd show your mug around here, McCoy. We got the animal corpses from Runciter's, but there wasn't a whole lot to work with. Bone marrow? About 50% were real, the rest were fakes. So, Runciter was ripping his customers off. State-of-the-art fakes. Miles beyond the crap you see on Animoid Row. The kind that comes from legit manufacturers? Yeah, they're the ones that usually produce the quality. What about the wounds? Most of them were shot point-blank, but we're looking at some others. <laughs> Sloppy cuts with a knife, like the perp was really pissed off at something. Butcher knife? Could be, but who cuts meat anymore? Nice bunch of reps I'm tailing. Hope you're not pulling a meat cleaver out of my back next week. Anything else? That black paint you found on the fire hydrant? It's from a ground car. You sure? The angle of impact was almost head on. And there ain't too many spinner drivers clutzy enough to smack a street level hydrant in VTOL mode. I heard your wife got her license back. <laughs> You're a real funny guy, McCoy. Anything else? That piece of chrome you found outside of Runciter's is from a 1995 Pontiac. Nice set of wheels. It's okay, not what I call a classic. Anything else? Zip man, try me later. Roof. Lock up. Ground floor. <laughs> Are they letting me out? I'm not the one who makes that decision. I suppose it's my turn to bear the cross for the cause. Who are you, anyway? Please leave me alone. My migraine's acting up. I got some more questions for you. Your associate, Ms. Steele, has already taken my statement. I have nothing more to say unless I have an attorney present. I got some more questions for you. Your associate, Ms. Steele, has already taken my statement. I have nothing more to say unless I have an attorney present. Ground floor.
Bryant go on permanent leave and you get full use of the office, Lieutenant? You know the procedure. Dump it all in the mainframe upstairs and I'll read it later. You got it. Sorry to bother you, Lieutenant. I was just checking in. We'll get back out there. Those reps ain't retiring themselves. Yeah, suicidal targets would make my job a lot easier. Everybody's got a job, kid. Lock up. Ground, floor, mainframe, and shooting range. The Tyrell Corporation today recalled the last four functioning entertainment model Nexus 5 replicants from off-world service. Dr. Eldon Tyrell speaking at a shareholders meeting. denied allegations that the model was defective and possibly dangerous. The simple fact is that the model wasn't performing its designated function. There was one isolated incident of violence a couple of years ago, but the individual unit in question was immediately... Well, if it ain't Ray McCoy, Bryant finally letting you play with the big boys. My clearance come through? You bet. You bring your piece. Don't leave home without it. Steele's been running the maze every other day for two weeks, and the targets are getting a little roughed up. I thought Guza was going to requisition some new ones. I ain't seen him down here in a month. Guess he's been busy. Poor guy. I bet he gets all tuckered out from pushing those papers around. I mean, don't sell him short, McCoy. <laughs> Guza could be one tough hombre. <laughs> I remember when we worked mice together. He poured acetone on two pimps that gave us some lip <laughs> and lit a match. Ah, I'll tell ya, it looked like the goddamn 4th of July out there. <laughs> Peachy. Hit the lock, Jack. I guess there ain't no harm in it. Target and shoot all threats. Do not shoot innocents. Confirm target as hostile before shooting.
You keeping busy, pal? Nah, the place has been pretty quiet the last couple of days. Lucky Strikes, Crystal's brand. I knew she was spending a lot of time in the training maze these days, even though she'd already gotten close to a perfect score. Scanning video disc. Two enhanceable images found. Adding enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. Runsitter crime scene. Runsitter crime scene. He looks familiar. Give me a hard copy of that. Local license plate? Give me a hard copy of that. Runsitter crime scene. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. Roof. Mainframe and shoot laboratory.
There's not a lot I can tell you. She's only worked for me for about a month. She's about judging from the dis. I already. How Howie Lee's in Chinatown. I'd eaten there myself. Anything else? Zip man, try me later. Laboratory. Mainframe and shooting range. Run setter crime scene. Run setter crime scene. Local license plate. Ground floor. Sorry to bother you, Lieutenant. I was just checking in. Well, get back out there. Those reps ain't retiring themselves. Yeah, suicidal targets would make my job a lot easier. Everybody's got a job, kid. Lock up. Roof. See you later, Howie. There's a test I'd like you to take. It won't take too long. Test? What kind of test? Kind of a personality test. Totally routine. Routine? Ha! <sighs>
locked. Locked. Totally uninteresting. Totally uninteresting. Totally uninteresting. Yuck. He was just an old bum. Not Howie's cook, and certainly not a replicant. I'd screwed up, plain and simple. If I was going to get clear of this, I needed to tell Guza, and the sooner the better. I knew what I was doing wasn't right, but I didn't have time to answer questions back at the station. Besides, specials vanished every day in this city, and no one ever missed them. The body was still there. I didn't know when the trash got picked up in this neighborhood but I hoped it was soon. See you later, Howie. Scratches and paint flex, and I knew what they meant. Unless the city had bought it. Locked. Locked.